All right, well, Payne Haas is easily the Broncos' most consistent performer and spoke earlier today about Kevy's latest team changes. Obviously, like Kevy said at the start of the year, no one's safe here. Um, you got to play. Um, you got to play good to keep your spot. If not, you're going to get um, shown the door and get kicked out of the team. So um, you know, that just shows where Kevy is. And Tyson's a real good talker. Um, you know, that's what we need in the team with our halves. Um, need some direction. And um, I think Tyson's a man to do that job. And it's not to stop talking if you could hear him out there today. And um, I reckon they'll do the job. You know, Kevy wouldn't put someone in there if they went up to it. So um, you know, he's um, working on that this week. And um, I reckon if we can just stay in the ground with the Titans, I think we'll take out that attack in um, Void of Davis. So, yeah. He had a good performance last week against Mackay, and I think he just um, got awarded that, and um, he's back now, and he's done a good job. You know, he's kept his head up and just kept working hard, and you now he's back now, and it's good to have Milf back here. It's always, it's always good to have someone like that back in the team. Everyone knows what Milf can bring. It's just, um, you know, it's up to us boards to create that for him and have a half like Tyson who just talks and lets Milf just do what he wants. And it's um, going to be real good for us this Friday. So one win from their first seven games, Kevy's got to start preparing for next year, would we all agree? Mm -hmm. So how does he make best use of what's left of this season? I think it's about survival for him, Ben. I think he's got to try and keep Katoni Staggs. Um, you know, they're going to go and undergo a massive roster overhaul. You've got to make sure you somehow don't lose the dressing room while all that's going on, because that's going to be difficult enough. And you've got to start setting the side up for next year. This year's gone. I mean, it's, what, seven weeks? Yep. And they're gone. They're one and six. Well, Matt Lodge has been told he's got freedom to negotiate now. Mm. And I think they're going to take his money and they're going to use that to pour into a halfback I mean, for how next much year. Their money, how much of that money are they going to get, Kenny? He's on 800 plus. That's, well, that's why, he's been like, that's why he's been told he can go, because he's on so much money. That's halfback money. Yeah, but has, they're going to have to chip in a hell of a lot money. of money. And he's got three years left in that deal. He's got, I think he had two options. He took them both up already. So mm. three is left in that deal. They're going to have to chip in every year. So they think that lowly of Matt Lodge, they're prepared to pay him to play for another club? Well, I don't know if they think that lowly. I think they've just got to find ways to get room in their caps so they can go in the market and find a halfback. Look, they spoke, they're speaking to Mitchell Moses, OK? Mitchell Moses has got to round 10 to call up the option of Parramatta. They're already in negotiations with him. There's Sean Johnson out there at Cronulla who's been offered, what, Four year, uh, one year deal at 400000 at Cronulla. He's obviously going to be looking for more than that. So the Broncos will look there. Then you've got uh, who, uh, Reynolds. Uh, Adam Reynolds, who will probably end up at Cronulla, so they're going to miss him. And then you've got Daly Cherry Evans, who has come out and told his teammates today he's not going anywhere. But the Broncos are certainly uh, getting ready to move Make in. it hard for him to stay. Yes. Yeah. And internally they're talking about bigger targets. Caelan Ponga has been on their radar. Caelan Ponga, at the end of this year... Uh, he has an option in his contract for 2023, which means he's effectively a free agent or you can negotiate with him from November 1 this year. So he is, the Broncos have internally spoken about Carlin Ponga and potentially making so, a play sorry, for So sorry, so I thought Carlin Ponga had some extraordinary long-term no. deal. What's the... So 23 and 24 are player options, his way. He hasn't taken them up yet. So that means that 2022 is locked in, which means he can talk to clubs from November 1 this year. But this is pie in the sky stuff if... If the Broncos, like we're going into round eight and we're talking about the Broncos who previously in, in years gone by didn't have building seasons and yeah, but that's, we're saying that that's the season's now. shot, but you're talking about people like Mitchell Moses and, and potentially Caelan Ponga gambling their careers at a club that just does not seem and to they're be gonna have to pay going a, forward. They're going to have to pay a fortune. I think they're to get Ponga to. and or Moses. Well, have but to. would you they're would you choice. be prepared to get if you were him, Ponga? Would you be no. prepared to gamble your career at a club that just goes from one disaster to the next? I would say this about Callum Ponga in Brisbane: he could earn ridiculous amounts of money in Brisbane. You mean with he, third party agreements? He would be the face of that club for the next five, ten years, and he could earn extra, the sort of money we've never seen a rugby league player earn. You, well, you're using that everybody's got a price line. Of course, yeah. everyone does have yeah. a price. The, look, the, yeah, but the. Look, the example, though, that you've got to be wary of is, is the Ben Hunt example. Mm. That you go to a club as a as a saviour of the club, as the playmaker on the big bucks, and if you're Mitchell Moses, that's what I believe he's already thinking about, that the pressure that's going to come with taking... Be overwhelming. Yeah, it will be. Yeah. Yeah. And, and or even a guy be... like, oh, like Roger Tuovasa Sheck goes from winning a premiership at the Roosters to to going to the Warriors and being the face of that club, but you, you give up the right to play you, finals football pretty much you, you with, keep with Katani, that decision. You keep Katani Staggs. You put Mitchell Moses in there beside him. 
and you somehow find a hooker, they're not. I don't think they're right. that far That's off being a, a final side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Now we've been down this line before, and I think you got quite emotional about it. But part of the <laughs> part of the part of the Broncos' issue at the moment is about attracting talent based on the state of the club currently. Should Carl Morris, the chairman of Brisbane, be making good with the current coach of the South Sydney Rabbitohs, Wayne Bennett? Yeah, it's a tough one. Like, they've been down that road before with Bennett and it didn't work out. The second time around, it didn't work out all that well. Although Bennett, we mostly see him as a guy that's going to fix it. One thing about Wayne, he comes into your club, he puts it in place. He knows what works, what doesn't work, what's that doing, we don't need that, we need more of this. He fixes it pretty quickly. He knows exactly what a winning club looks like. He's not the only one that knows, but certainly going back into there, uh, he's capable of doing the job. But I'll tell you what, it's like a bad romance, isn't it? Listen, so if, if, I'm, if, if I'm the chairman, I'm taking a potential fractured relationship between Wayne and Kevy, if that turns the coaching it's director, Wayne head coach. Kevy, no, it's Wayne I'm, in the club, Ben. Yeah, yeah no, no, but what I'm, I'm saying is that, that, look, that, that could, well, that's the that other could thing. Put, listen. That could prove difficult, Wayne coming in over the top I of Kevin. I think Kevy. he did say but, but, but if, if Wayne goes back and can all of a sudden start to help the club re-establish its reputation in the marketplace and get top-line quality players, yeah, then, then that's the reason you do it. Do you do it after you sued your club, though, for wrongful dismissal? What, what's more important, getting the club back on track? Oh, or not about to let go of the equation. Bennett loves yeah, the Broncos, so. always has, always will. There's a part of Wayne that would love to go back to the Broncos, right? But if that, that bridge can't be mended, and chances are it won't, and an opportunity was to present itself in the next few months at the new franchise... Well, he's already offered himself well, to all three. I, I know he has, mate. He's and, told and all he, three he wants to, quiet, hey, he wants to work, to but, but the, Paul, you can't deny the fact that if he does end up at that new franchise, that's heavy competition for the Broncos chasing Caelan Ponga and and Mitchell yeah. Moses and that sort of stuff down the track. No doubt. It's a romantic notion, Ben. I'd love to see him back at Brisbane. Yeah. It's just, I just don't know. I don't think it can happen. But both of them have to swallow their ego. Kevy, Kevy wants to run the show and rebuild the club, but if it's going to be easier with Wayne there, then he'll have to swallow his pride. Wayne will probably have to swallow a bit of pride about well, what his role is when he goes back. Well, I think Kevy would be happy to have him back. I think Kevy would be happy to have Wayne back at the club. With the chairman. Well, that's another issue, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't... 